Electrical outlets should be replaced if they are sparking, getting hot, or no longer hold plugs securely. Outlets have screw terminals on the sides, and in some cases, the screw terminals have clamps. A thin metal break-off tab connects the upper and lower terminals to supply current to both outlets if desired. Break off the tab if you want to control the outlet separately. Like switches, hot wires connect to gold or brass colored terminals and ground wires connect to green terminals. Outlets also have silver terminals for the neutral wires. In 120 volt circuits, outlets at the beginning or middle of a circuit are connected to two hot wires and two neutral wires in order to continue the circuit, while outlets at the end of the circuit connect one hot wire and one neutral wire. Like a switch, you can use short pieces of wire to pigtail an outlet to the circuit in order to maintain the circuit if the outlet goes bad. To replace an electrical outlet, 1. Always wear appropriate PPE for the electrical equipment you will be working on. 2. Turn off the power and follow the appropriate lockout tagout procedure. Unscrew and remove the faceplate. Use a voltage tester or a multimeter to make sure the power is off. 3. Unscrew the outlet from the electrical box and pull it out with the wires attached. 4. Compare the old outlet to the new outlet and match up the wire connections. Also look to see if the metal tabs need to be broken off. 5. Disconnect the wires from the old outlet. 6. If needed, trim the wires and use a wire stripper to expose about one half inch of wire on wires that will connect to the outlet, then use needle nose pliers to form a loop at the end. 7. Starting with a ground wire, loop each wire clockwise around its terminal screw or insert it into the screw clamp and tighten the screw. If the electrical box is metal, join the circuit ground wire to two grounding pigtails. Connect one pigtail to the outlet's ground screw and the other to the electrical box's ground screw. 8. Tuck the wires in behind the outlet and then align and screw the outlet to the box. 9. Reinstall the cover plate and then turn the power back on.